What's up, Samurai? We are back again for some more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And so help me, this guy's going down today. I'm getting my revenge. So, um, I will explain... Whoopsie daisy. I will explain everything that's been happening lately, okay? Don't you worry about that. 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 There we go. Okay. Just needed to get rid of those scumbags. And then... Oh, God. Don't do it. Can I reverse, like, anything on him right now? No, I cannot. Okay. Um... So I can do this. I just gotta keep tapping it like a madman. And then here's his weak point. And this rock is really, really big, but it's still not dealing as much damage as it could. Ooh. Okay, you scumbag. Yeah, face me. Come on, throw your rocks at me, you idiot. Which is still a one-shot kill, I want to mention. Like, if he hit me with that, it would kill me. Go, 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 go. Oh, you know what I should do? Let's do a spin a Rooney blast. Okay. Well, that definitely was more worth doing. Yeah. Thank you, time slow. That didn't even like stun him this time, so that's fun. Can you spin? Thank you. The problem is he keeps doing that and it's actually like hurling all of the ore away. Um, all, all of the ore that like we keep on knocking off of his weak point. Okay, game, whatever. Is just being la launched into space. Okay, okay, we almost got him. Uh, 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 let's just do this one just for safety. There we go. Ooh. And now we get the spoils. So, don't worry. You don't gotta be confused, okay? I'll explain what happened with my horse uh, in a second. <laughs> I've basically been, um, how do I put it? So, in this series, I'm kind of doing the same thing that I did with Breath of the Wild. I'm only exploring areas that we've already been to. And don't worry, we're still going to Gerudo, or, uh, Goron Town today. But I've just been exploring areas that we've already been to in this game. Because I, uh, maybe this one, I guess? I like having the leaf, but I never use it. Oh, I didn't know I had two, okay. But basically, like, when I explore an area, it's kind of like permission for me to continually exploring that area off camera. So I've actually been farming up like a bunch of mob drops and stuff like that. Uh, and then, I didn't even think that this would happen, but basically, I got those two horse points. So when we went to the stable, remember that there was like the, the quest where it was like, Ah, get two, uh, get two horse points, either by getting a horse or, um, uh, you know, by taming a horse or sleeping at the end. So I, I did that, and then, uh, the second, or the first reward that we got was actually this saddle. Which you can see is, um, right here is where the saddle ends. And then this was just something that I just constructed and just wanted to have on my horse, just because I thought it was really cool and really useful to get my, uh, jump slow-mo matrix shot, you know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to think of what else that I need to recap you guys on. Some of my weapons might have changed, as you can see. Uh, shield as well, because i just basically been going through gathering stuff. Uh, I forget if I bought the Hylian tunic with you guys on camera. I might have. But, I mean, basically it was it was cheap enough that I just didn't care. I just got it. But I've been waiting to do the Goron area with you guys. Um, it, it's It's been really, really fun, and I've been, you know, really excited playing this game. But it's not really something that I necessarily needed to include in the video, because it was just kind of like, oh, I'm just clearing out camps, you know? Which I'm not saying that we shouldn't do that together, 
Uh, I think that potentially... Oh, I thought that was a thing to climb on. I think that potentially... We could do, uh, do that in streams. So we're kind of getting to the point, I think, where it would be really nice to just... Like, you might have already seen one at this point of me just messing around and grinding stuff uh, on the stream. And the streams is going to be something kind of separate to this. Wheeled Wonders. Oh, good. I need a tutorial on wheels. I just... I don't know why I don't know how they work. But my, my main point is that... Um, I'm really hoping that I can... Uh, I'm hoping that I get the opportunity, whoops, to do some streams with you guys, because I think it would be really cool for us to kind of share in the adventure, you know, even though I said that we wouldn't. Wait a minute. Will this... So if I just put this... Oh. Look at that. They're trying to tell me... Attach that. Do that. Whoa. That's cool, man. And that's going to keep going to keep the bridge nice and taut. I like that. I like that a lot. That's really, really cool. Okay. Um, so, I guess the other thing is I could just put those two together and then I could just... Have that as my mount, and that would be it. What would be the point here? What's this about? Because there's treasure up there, right? No? I don't see it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, attach these suckers. I guess they're trying to teach me like the basics of vehicle control now. Because this will work, right? I hope. <laughs> I didn't have- oh god. That's pretty fun though. Nice. Yeah, that's- that's good. I- it's good that I'm getting stuff like that, like, hit home into my brain because, uh, the Ascend and Time Slow ability, those I'm, like, really getting- getting the hang- ow. Okay, let's do that again. Those I'm really getting the hang of, but everything else I'm, like, really, really lacking with. Just in terms of my experience with the game. Whoops. Uh, it's not a chest that we can grab. Oh, I've never seen a construct like this before. But I think we all know that I know. I know how to make a ramp. Because <laughs> I've already done it once before. <laughs> Can I climb this? Hello? Linky? Whatever. Works. Whatever. But yeah, we're still gonna do the Goron stuff today, hopefully. That is a pretty decent bow. Let's get rid of that one. Excuse you? Oh, uh, really? I'm, I'm squeezed against the wall. So it wouldn't put it, it didn't want to put it down. Okay. Is this even going to be enough to like get me through here? Come to think of it. No, because that's just going to bump into the wall. Wait a minute. What are all these? Are these bombs? Oh. I get it. They want me to make, like, a tractor. I guess. Maybe. Right? Oh. Oh, it just needed enough weight. Just in general. It doesn't need all of them. Alright. I mean, that's kind of cool. Can I combine with these? I could. Iron ball. That sounds like way better than a rock. Uh, I already have so many rocks. The spike iron ball is already really good too. Oh well. <laughs> I like all the weapons I have, what can I say? 
that shrine took a little bit longer than I expected. I can still, like, I, I already have, like, enough points that we could get another heart container or, um, or some stamina, but... The, the main thing that actually took up a lot of my time off camera was I went back to the Great Plateau or whatever, like the starting island. Speaking of which, the tutorial from Breath of the Wild is still in this game, like that tutorial area. We haven't gone there yet, though. And then if you're wondering, I just grabbed the fast travel point for this shrine off camera, but I see that Korok. Mental note, he's up there. But we're going to go down. You know what? Maybe? Nope. <laughs> oh well. So let's see what's going on with this town. Huh? What, what's with all this gross meat? Hey! What's going on here? Uh, what's going on? Oh! Uh, lastly, I wanted to also mention that I was talking to like some random character in the wild and they said Impa and the Geoglyphs. So we've seen like these big glyphs shining on the ground. I didn't know what those were, but I guess that's just tied to, like, a quest, it seems. But anyway, let's go back to our regional phenomena. What's up, bro? Boom. Crane, now you too, and after all my warnings about the marbled rock Aww. roast. Everyone's acting funny because cause of the marbled rock roast that President Yanova was mining. Hey, what are you mumbling about over there? Was that Link? What's happening? Oh. What's up, bro? You all talking about marble rock roast, are ya? Oh my god. Oh. My bro is back. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about, in my opinion. Now stop flapping your rock chompers and get over here, Goro! Huh? Huh? Sadi? What could you want? What do you mean? What? Yo! Yo, if it ain't Link, you're so tiny I barely even noticed ya. <laughs> Hey, you know, boo, what's the big idea talking like that to our esteemed guest? Bluto, or should I say boss, you really don't know your place, do you? Slurgo, tell him, me who runs Goron City these days. You know, Buko. And Ofrak, who's in charge of you know, Buko. You are a no -bo. You hear that, Pluto? You're not needed around here anymore, so why don't you die of old age? <sighs> you think I'm just gonna sit here and... Yeah. Uh, so, Link, what's your business in Goron City, huh? I need, uh, items or Zelda or something. Zelda? Oh, and you're wondering about my any strange goings on. Mm. Princess Zelda, I heard she's gone missing, but you're telling me she's still missing? I mean, it's hard to miss those lovely blonde locks of hers after all. Calm down, Grandpa. Oh, oh, the lady with hair like that? She's the same one President Yonobo talks about at Marbled Rock Roast. Yeah, pipe down, you two. You'll, you'll, you'll keep your trap shut if you know what's good for you. Uh, as, as you can see, Goron City is a picture of peace, and we can't help with Princess Zelda, so you better shove off. I gotta go get more marble rock roast. Can't afford to keep her waiting. Right. Are they? <laughs> you know, boy, I swear you bring in any more of that stuff and I'll... Oh, 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 my back. I felt that, bro. Stodgy old dude sticking your nose into things when your spine's too worry about. Slurgo, off rack. Time to head back to your noble co-HQ. But boom. Um... You think he's bought off? <laughs> he's got all this. He's literally draped in gold. What's up, Blue? Oh, that guy used to be just a kid following me around, crying, boss this, boss that. It was all business as usual around here. Then he created Yonobo Co., a group of Gorons who worked the mines. Once they started digging up that marble rock roast, Yonobo and all the youngsters changed. Changed? Yeah, man, they changed all to that strange marble rock roast Yonobo dug up. 
Now all the youngsters just sit around eating instead of working. Why, some of them here even running scams trying to get more marble rock roast. There's no way we c he can't see what I'm, uh, uh, I'm having a heart attack. But the HQ is a pain in the neck location, you see. For starters, I'd have to go through the northern mining. <laughs> My heart in this condition. I can't even ride a cart. What to do? Yonobo's profile has been added. Okay. I'm still curious whether or not, like, I'm assuming similarly. I don't know. Similarly to... Whoa, okay. Climb up. What happened in Breath of the Wild was uh, a lot of the resources and stuff in the shops and junk like that, uh, essentially, were very, very overpriced. And that price ended up going down after you saved the town, which is kind of why... Hello! Kind of why I'm holding off on uh, whether or not I want to actually like buy the new armor and junk, because I was also thinking... That armor is going to be really... Let's get stamina. That armor is going to be really, really nice for me. Because fire resistance means that I can basically go into a grass area and just set the entire world on fire and be immune to it. Oh, ouch. That was odd. Stamina increase. It better be a lot. Oh, it's a quarter. Eh, that's still good. If you could call that a quarter. But whatever. Stupid statue. So, I'm saying that I'm going to reserve my Mun Muns until we have this place under wraps. Which we might not even be able to do. Like, this this could be like an area that the game isn't really expecting me to go for. Because I noticed that one of, <laughs> one of the main quests is literally like right here. So, clearly that's the intended route. But you know me, man, like when I play these games, I just kind of wander around and well, here we are. It won't budge. That's okay. I don't need it to budge because, oh, it moved. Who, who's there? Don't go touching things that aren't yours. Okay. Where's one that I can use? Because I wanted to do this most epic of moves. If you guys didn't know, you can shield surf grind like Tony Stonks. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Man, this whole area being like fully drained is pretty crazy. So I wonder if that's a cave that goes to the depths. Here we go. Kill Bunga Bro. I saw that ore down there. I kind of want to go for it, but I'm not going to. We're going to wait. Woo! So our durability does still drain when we use... Uh, this for shield surfing, but it's just not as bad and it's a lot more rolly when we do that. Hey guys! What's up? It's you again! The one who knows President Yonobo. He's talking about marbled rock roast to the blonde lady right now. No one's allowed to come in. I don't really like that lady, but it's definitely the marbled rock roast's fault that everyone's been acting Aww. funny. Yeah! President Yonobo said he got that weird mask he's wearing from the lady too. She's his sugar mama. <laughs> he's always so nice. As soon as he's wearing the mask, he got real mean. You're friends with President Yonobo, aren't you? You know how he created Yonobo Co. for mining? It was supposed to be helpful for people who needed ore and stuff, but now it's just making things worse around here. If we let you pass, will you convince the president? I'll see what I can do. Did you hear that? I sure did. Maybe he'll get prison, you know, but back to himself. Oh, hey. Uh, it's hot in there. It'd be dangerous if you went in like that. If you know the fire resistance suit, you should go to HQ to get some. HQ? I told you it was a beginner's trap. Watch, I'll be able to buy it for, like, considerably cheaper here, right? Oh my god. Well, that's so much cheaper. Bruh, how can you even do that? I don't believe we've met before. God, you're handsome. That's right, I am. Oh, good. Another man of confidence. You have no idea how badly you were needed. We have a dire staffing shortage at the moment, or at least a shortage of strong men like you. All the young Gorons are so obsessed with that stupid rock roast, they can't even be bothered to swing a pickaxe. I hope the President Yonobo will address the issue somehow, but in the meantime, we need all the workers we can get. Especially the handsome ones like you. 
I think President Yonobu is at Yonobu storage in front of the HQ making a deal for more marbled rock roast. Uh, buy from me. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you sure, bro? Okay. Um. So, unfortunately, it seems like this is the only piece of armor that we can currently buy. And then for the feet and the head, we're not going to be able to buy those until we're done with this dungeon or something. There's still lava inside the caves. You'll get burned to a crisp if you go and dress like that. Uh, I'd recommend investing in some fire resistant gear. The Fraybreaker armor sell, uh, I sell would more than do the trick. If you don't have enough rupees, don't worry. You can make some quick cash by selling me things you don't need. I see. Okay. Well, I'm about to go broke, but whatever. Fire resistant gear. Smart temperatures. Blah, 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 blah. Give it to me. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, Lord. As long as you're wearing that, you can go into the caves without worrying about the heat. You'll still die if you fall in lava, though, so don't do that. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, man. <laughs> All right, well... <laughs> True. So that means the whole Goron dungeon's actually gonna be underground. That's pretty neat. Wooden weapons will melt. Oh, God. Well, they'll give us plenty of new weapons down here, okay? It's a, it's fine. Oh, my shield's melting. Oh, Lord. Ah, great. Yeah, hopefully we find some better gear down here. Everything I have is made of wood. That's blatantly Zelda. Cut it out already, President Yonobu. Uh, we want you to take off that weird mask so we can go back to the President Yonobu we know and love. Boys. Huh? Same for me. Same for me. Uh-oh. Huh. Princess Zelda is right. Mama Rock Roast is good. It makes everyone happy. Uh, boss fight, I guess. Why am I fighting, you know, but... Ah! I didn't mean to do that. And... Oh, okay. Oh, I can't hit him once. Okay. Did that snap him out of it? <gasps> Don't you sumo wrestle me, bro. Do it again. Come on, hit the wall. Yeah, do it again. I'll just keep circle strafing you. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but hey, whatever, I'll take it. Come on, do it again. I wonder if it's because my weapon. Oh. I was gonna say, I wonder if my weapon is, uh, is damaging him like that much that it's like breaking him, but what if I sprint? There we go. Idiot. Come to your senses, bruh. Come on, Burkowski. Bring it in. Bring it in, bro. <clears throat> bro? Hmm? What happened? <laughs> um. Huh? You destroyed my jewelry, bro. I don't understand. Oh. Everything's a blur ever since I put on the mask from Princess Zelda. I need to talk to her. Maybe she can tell you the whole oh. story. Zelda? Zelda? No, come back! I love you, Princess Zelda, no! Well, clearly it ain't Zelda. I like that there's a mystery afoot. I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, we're locked in. Oh, crap. Is everyone all right? Nobody's injured? <clears throat> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm always at max hearts. And I, I haven't died once this whole playthrough, actually. Huh? What? Did my lie manifest and he can see it? I thought I heard something. He's lying. Well, it doesn't matter right now. Princess Zelda is just outside the cave. 
That blonde lady was Princess Zelda? Wait, so other people can see it. Yeah, and I need to ask her about that mask and the marble rock rose. We, we gotta hurry and talk to her, bro. The only way to break those red rocks is with my charge attack. But I can't really see where I'm going when I charge. You be my eyes, bro. Oh my god, wait. When Yonobo's aura is charged, he can be aimed in any direction for a fiery rolling attack. Do I permanently get him as an ability or something? Because that's freaking cool. Okay, his aura is like maxed out, but the game never like told me how to do it. Oh, just like that. Never mind. It's a dungeon mechanic. All right. Do it again, man. That's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of a Jorah's mess. That did the trick, broski. Come on, boys. Let's go talk to the Zelda. I don't know why I'm making sounds for that, but I am. Princess Zelda? I'm not seeing her, huh? Oh. What's the red haze sprouting from Death Mountain? Do you remember, President You know, Bo, You told us the red haze is dangerous and we shouldn't go near it. It showed up at the same time Hyrule Castle started floating and the upheaval happened. The ground was super rumbly and you were really worried about Death Mountain might erupt again. So you went to check it out. Yeah. And then you came from the mountain wearing the mask. I remember now, man. I saw Princess Zelda at Death Mountain Crater. She talked to me and gave me that mask to wear. So does that mean Princess Zelda lives inside Death Mountain? She's definitely not here, man. <laughs> His voice keeps changing. Maybe if we go up there, we'll find her. Slurgo, off rack. I'm gonna go look for Princess Zelda, man. I can't be having you two along, but I'll sh sort this out. I'll ask her how to get it back to normal. Go way back at home for me. Everything will be a-okay. You're so cute. Link, please come with me to Death Mountain and look for the princess, okay? Uh, sure. Carts are sur sure useful. They are? Wait, he can just use his aura at any time. That's pretty dope. Okay, so there is... I see. Whoops. There is uh, the other track that the kid was yelling like, you can't take this thing, you can't go there. I assume we can now, right? Here, get in the back, bro. Get right oh dear God. I, whoa, okay. They're giving us this as a mechanic that we can use off of the mine cart. That's pretty cool. Go for it, man. <laughs> Bye, bro. That's so cool. It won't budge. It's okay, man, I need it. Pretty sure someone said you can get to the end of the tracks if you get in this mine cart in particular. But how do you make it move? I bet the ancient city of Garondia is over there. What? Whoa, who are you? Me? I'm not doing anything. Uh, if you're wondering what Gorondia is, the legendary place the Gorons of old used to live, I heard there's an amazing treasure store there too. They would even more advanced technology than we do now. And I heard that they used to ride in strange vehicles. <gasps> I, okay, okay. I had a theory that I'm pretty sure Based on all these mechanics and vehicles, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a controlling device that we could plop on one of our creations and then just drive it around and control it. Maybe I'm wrong, but strange vehicles uh, interest me very much. I want to use my card to search for the treasure, but I can't get it to budge. Anyway, you better not tell anyone about my secrets, okay? The ancient city of Garandia. Oh, that's a side quest. Well... Uh, you know what? Let's just leave that. Maybe it's a special minecart. Like, in particular, it does something special. I totally thought, I need to reach my friend. I'm gonna mark him for later. I don't want to get distracted. Let's do this. Because you can stay there, okay? Where's a fan? I need a fan. Like, really bad. Okay, I guess I'll just... I'll make one myself then. Don't worry about it. Or I could use the rocket. Nah, let's use a fan. There we go. 
All right, get in, man. Let's do it, broski. So long. He goes to the front of the minecart. That's cool. So we're gonna have to probably use him. God, my frames. We're gonna use him to like break stuff down. Go for it, man. Oh, wait, I did destroy something. Nice. <laughs> Apparently we can just spam. Oh God, do we even have enough energy for this? Apparently we can just spam his ability while we're on the minecart trail. Am I gonna have enough energy for this? I think we have just enough. I hope. I hope? Yeah, okay, good. Whew. All right, let's leave them to their vices. Uh, whoa. What is that thing? They're showing us some pre- <gasps> What did I just say? What did I just say? Oh my god! Bro, that's so freaking cool! And then we use him? <laughs> that's legit so freaking awesome, dude. Like, oh my god. Okay, uh, let me look at the track here. How do they want me to actually get up here? I mean, I could just climb it like a madman, but I guess... I don't know if he wants me to go into the cave. But we're gonna drive, because we gotta... You know what? We can drive into the cave. We got a vehicle now, boys. This is insane. We didn't even need to complete the dungeon in order to get the vehicle. Now, now the battery ability is, like, so much more useful than I originally thought it was. Like, that's actually... No! Oh! Psst. <laughs> Gone! Oh, it was a dream. Okay. That's such a cool vehicle. I want to use it more, but okay. I guess we'll do it the old-fashioned way then. Which is namely, use the minecart to uh, rocket ourselves across? Maybe? I don't, I don't know what they actually like want me to do. Also, wait a minute. Can I do this? Oh, I wanted to... <gasps> okay. Okay, I, I wanted to throw him at the ore. But it didn't quite work. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. We can do, like, a crazy inventive uh, way of doing it. Or, or... We can, uh, Tony Stonks Pro Skater this. Right? Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Woo! I didn't know I could just shield surf on those in general. I didn't need to actually use the, uh... I didn't actually need to use the cart at all. Kind of a little disappointing when I thought that the cart was, like, some big inventive thing. Maybe it's because it's a metal shield? Maybe the wooden ones wouldn't work? I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Uh, hello? Wait, what are these? Oh, rockets! Rockets? There we go. And then... I'm just gonna trust. Woo! Uh, whoa! Stay focused! I did stay focused. He didn't pull out the glider. Ugh. Okay. Where, where do I go then? Oh. I don't even need to go. Okay. <laughs> I'm almost dead because of that, dude. Oh, yeah. I've been doing lots of cooking. And you know what? This kind of... This kind of works out because our... Because uh, our normal arrows... Can you... Our normal arrows are, uh, wood, so they'll actually catch fire, which means that we'll set fire to things that we run into in the environment. Man alive. Tons of random items here. Okay. I want to also test out... They are giving us the fan. 
What does this do if it's on my shield? Okay. So that block, that just blows it away. Can I do this? And then, uh, oh. I thought I could do that to kind of rocket myself away. Where am I supposed to go? I thought for sure, okay. Maybe that's all this cave is. Maybe it isn't, uh... Maybe this isn't anything to do with anything. And this was later really just... Me exploring a random cave. Uh, wait a minute. Who said, why isn't anyone coming? What, 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 what? Was that this guy talking? Was that you? Just wanted that help was finally on the way. It's a pity little Hylian. You the stinking track broke and now I'm out here. None of the era workers even know it is great, just great. At this rate, I won't be able to go buy any more marbled rock roast. This is my last one. So yeah, if you gotta figure out a way to get me out of here... <laughs> it's simple. Just let me know when you can get in a cart and send it flying. Done. <laughs> okay. I understand what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> Alright, here we go, bro. You ready? This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna hop in with you, okay? Ah. Rockets away! <laughs> Sweet! The outside, I escaped. I... I don't know if I'd say that you escaped, but... More like, I helped get you out of there. Not bad, considering how piddly you are. Uh, wanna rock roast as a reward? Yeah, I do. Just kidding. The supply's running low and it's mine. <laughs> Instead of that, I'll give you what I picked up in the cave. Zonai charge, energy boost. Okay. Uh, you can't get Marvel Rock Rose, just ugly weird vehicles. I'm gonna tell President Yonobo to get my assignment changed. He's right beside me. Alright. Uh, cool, I guess. Oh, the vehicle's gone. Hold on. There we go. All I had to do was save and load. Just to get everything to respawn. Oh! Not close enough, apparently. There we go. Now, the crazy thing is I never thought to put a rocket on the bird thing. But it seems like that might actually be useful. I don't know. I don't know where I'm, like, supposed to actually be going. But, hey, whatever. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, I see that. Ah. Destroy it, man! There you go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's a mine track right here. And I guess that's why they're giving me all of these things that boost, boost my battery because we're probably gonna run out of uh, battery like along the way, right? And so we'll have to, like I haven't done it yet, but basically we can consume those items to give us more juice, which makes sense. But let's, uh, let's put the rocket on just in case. Give us that little extra boost without taking all my energy. Do it! Oh my god. This is so dangerous! Oh! I didn't know that the physics would have it like all on the one side there like that. Go get him, bro! Oh. Oh god. Well, at least he can ragdoll them, so that's nice. And what about them? Oh. Well, that didn't work. You know what? I'm gonna trust. Here I go. Whew. Okay, that was dangerous because it wanted me to attack them. I mean, I guess I could have shot them instead. And then, can I do this and then just chill for a bit? Huh. Get some of my battery back and then start her back up again. I hope. Otherwise, the other option that we can always do is, uh, again, I can just consume one of the charges. Wow, dude. This is so cool, though. Like, this is so, so dope. Can I shoot you yet, dude? I, it won't let me shoot him. Oh, God. Uh, sweet. Whatever. <laughs> you know, Bo? Where you at, brother? I need help. The camera is my enemy. What is he doing? Oh my god. 
Get him, dude! Okay, or not. Why has he got, like, a helmet? <laughs> oh! Okay. Where you at? Where's my boy? Oh, there you are. Yeah, go destroy that, okay? That didn't seem to do anything. Uh... Ah, here we go. That did it. Why is my energy still drained? That's odd. <clears throat> Look at this thing. I bet you we could combine this with our, uh, with ourselves, like with a weapon, but I'm gonna actually combine it with our cart instead. <laughs> Just cause I think it's gonna be really cool if we can run somebody down. Uh oh. Oh, we made it. Okay, thank you. Please don't have the cart on, like, one side. I can barely even see anything, but hey, it worked. Hey, it gave me all the items. I don't know why, but... <laughs> oh! Yeah, look at that. It's actually just giving me the item. Octo Balloons. Those were really cool in the first game. Albeit, I never used them. But I really should. Oh, well, he got splattered on my face. So, yeah, that happened. Let's do that. And you know what? Let's do this, which gives us... No, that gives us full recovery. I don't want to do that. And then... Get him, bro! Nice. Oh, he bounced off of him. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. You know, Bo. <laughs> oh, God, he's back. Oh! Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Is there- we're getting to parts where it's requiring us to shoot him at things that are in front of us. Yeah, this place is, uh, specifically set up. To not use up all of our energy, so that's kind of nice. Oh. <sighs> well, that was an interesting take on Death Mountain. Link, over there, man. What? Yeah, I know, we're going into the volcano. I want to see it. I'm so curious. Bruh, it would be so cool if we got to, like, play as him. I know it wouldn't make sense, but just Majora's Mask stuff. Alright, what's in here now, dude? Oh, this is gonna go to the cas- to the depths, I bet you. Or... Not? What the... Oh, I'm supposed to talk to him. Sorry, I kind of ruined that moment. I didn't realize. <laughs> It's this way. Yeah, I know. What's up? Bruh? You okay? You good? I think it was near here. When I came up the mountain, I saw her. The princess was standing right here, Goro. And then she gave me this fancy mask to wear around. After that, um... Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. It's no use. I can't remember anything that happened after that. Ah! Uh, oh! Oh! Sorry, I keep forgetting. I gotta pretend I'm there. What's up? Oh! There she is, Princess! Princess Zelda! Zelda! We need to talk to you. It's dangerous. Um. Oh! Oh! God! Shakes and smoke. What is this music that's like Metroid? It's slapping pretty hard. What? What? <laughs> Muragia. What? <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, oh. Whoa, that, that thing broke out of the crater. It, like it was nothing. Is that marble rock? Is it alive? And there's three of those things? Hang on, no, there, there's heads. It's so big. How could something like that just at large just appear out of nowhere like that? I've never seen anything like this in Death Mountain, Guru. If we don't take that thing out, who knows what will happen, Princess Zelda? 
but I can't exactly charge at it from down here. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, apparently we can take this and fly. I don't know how this helps me, though. It's got wheels on it, so that's kind of funny. But I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed. It's got a controller on it. No. No, really? Bruh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. There's just outright flying vehicles in this freaking game, dude. This is so freaking cool. Screw gliding. This is falling with style. Oh my god, don't shoot me. Woo! Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay, so we only gotta destroy all three of them. Yeah, pull down. We're good. We're good. I played video games before. That was not it. You know, Bo? Oh god. Can you, though? Okay. That's two down. We also have limited battery capacity, so we gotta be careful here. <laughs> Game of the freaking year, dude. <laughs> That's huge. That means, oh my God. Yeah, so after all this, we'll probably get the, the vehicle controller thing. That's, oh my God. That's insane. That means you can build like so much crazy stuff. It just, oh my God, it boggles my mind the amount of builds we can do. Yeah, it's going to the, the depths. Is this gonna be a full dungeon now? <sighs> we did it, bro! We did it! What was that thing anyway? It was fun, that's what it was. I thought Princess Zelda walked off somewhere around it, but... Huh? Whoa. You don't suppose she fell into that hole, do you? That would be also awful. I mean, come on, Link, let's hurry up down there. Yeah. Princess Zelda, don't worry, we're coming. As much as uh, it pains me to do this, gamers, I have a feeling that this next area is probably going to take me like an hour to do. So we'll call it here for today's episode because that was already a crazy climax anyways. My God. Smash like so for more. Buy the merch that I'm not wearing. It's down below. And have a wonderful day. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.